Okay, another derivative involving the chain rule and the derivative for a logarithmic function. So again, y equal log x, derivative is 1 over x. y equal log u, where u is a function of x, the derivative with respect to x is 1 over u, then you have to differentiate u itself. So I want to find the derivative of f of x equal natural log x squared minus 4 to the third. Now you have a choice here. You can differentiate just straight across, just uh, starting with this right here, or you can use the properties of logarithms to take that exponent and make it a coefficient first. So I'm going to do that. It generally turns out to be easier if you simplify the expression first. So 3 natural log x squared minus 4. Okay, so now I'm going to differentiate the derivative of a constant times a function is a constant times the derivative of the function. So f prime of x is going to be 3 times the derivative of log this, and this is our u term right here, so it's 1 over u, times the derivative of u, well the derivative of x squared minus 4 is just going to be 2x. So I'll simplify a little bit right here, 3 times 2 is 6, x over x squared minus 4. So there's that derivative. Now you might try it again the other way. Don't simplify it first and just go ahead and find the derivative. It's going to be 1 over this times the derivative of that. Whatever it comes out to be should be equivalent to this right here, 6x over x squared minus 4. So just to point out, you know, before you take your derivatives, you can always do some manipulation. So with these properties of logarithms, they tend to make things simpler. So that exponent becomes a coefficient. Coefficients are generally simpler than exponents. So I'll differentiate this. It just comes out kind of quickly. You should try it the other way just for practice and see if what you get matches what we got right here.